Okay, so the other question was in regards to electrical, it was the simulator, where the uh, cooling fan wouldn't turn off. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through that exercise together. It's Right now it's 545, uh, so you still have time to turn it in. This way if you need help, you got this video. I think only one person or two people have actually done this assignment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you come and look over my shoulder on what I've done for this. Okay, now look at that infinite loop. Okay, so there we are. Okay, so what I want to do is we're going to go to electric. Okay, now it's going to look a little different on my side for just a moment. Okay, and then I'll get to it. So, uh, electric fan. Okay, and I'm going to click on that. Okay, and then go here and start module. Okay, um, one thing that you should remember when it comes to Electro, do not, and if I can underline my speech, do not pinch to zoom in. Okay, don't use the touchpad to do that. Make sure you use this right here. If you use the pinch, it's not going to load right and you're going to have to back out. So you just back out with that arrow. I found that it's no matter if I use my laptop, my desktop, computer, which I also have a touchpad, or my Chromebook. Is if you zoom, it's screwed up. That's what was happening at the school when we were doing these things together was I would pinch on that big screen TV to zoom in, which then would mess things up. Okay, so the very first thing we always do is verify the customer's complaint. It says cooling fan runs constantly and now the battery's dead. Test the fan control and repair as needed. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and close that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna even prove that the battery's dead. I'm gonna prove everything. So I'm gonna turn on the instrument panel and I'm gonna try to turn the car on. No luck. Okay, so I come over here, I'm gonna jump start the vehicle. And I can hear the fan already. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the vehicle. There we go. And we have a check engine light. Fans running, or the motor's running a little rough. I'm gonna bet you it's all just because of a dead battery. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Okay, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna take my jump starter off. I still hear the fan. Okay, the fan is still getting power. Okay, the engine's not hot. I just literally turned it off. So that means this fan's not, it should not be operating. So let's look at the diagram. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up my diagnostic tester, identify vehicle. So this way I can get the information I need. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to systems. I'm gonna go to engine, whoops, engine management. And I'm gonna go to information because this is where all of this is in this kind of scan tool. Like I said in various other things, the scan tools will be different. Just like when we're looking up stuff on ProtoMan, it's different for every vehicle. All right, so I'm gonna go to wiring diagram, okay? And just because I happen to know this vehicle a little bit, here's our bus bar, and here's two motors, and there's one, and if you look closely, it has a fan. So that tells me that's the fan motor. Right here, cooling fan, okay? Whoops. Uh, supply voltage 11 to 14 so whatever the battery has a resistance of 1 and if I scroll down it will show me where it is as well okay so I can move this out of the way now I'm not gonna pinch I'm gonna use the little plus symbols and now I can drag I can hear it really loud now I don't want to work on this fan while there's still power so I'm gonna disconnect this okay fan turned off so that means there's some reason it's getting power no matter what so there's two things that will tell the fan to turn on the thermostatic control or the relay so let's test them so let's go to thermostatic control which is right here on this one so we're going to go back and we can go down to legends or we can just follow the diagram and see there's motor ground relay and that's it so, so that's everything that we need so here is where the fan cooler is on the thermostatic control so let's go ahead and measure the resistance. I like to start with that one. So I'm gonna pull up my multimeter. I'm gonna disconnect the connector 
I'm going to take my ground lead, I'm going to drop it on that pin. It doesn't matter because we're just measuring resistance on the motor. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to go down to 200 on my ohms. Whoops, I'm going to turn it. Okay, I'm sitting at 1 to 9 ohms of resistance. That is within my specifications. All right, so that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and put that way, that way. Put that back. Okay, so what else was on that diagram? So we go from the motor. Well, we have the relay. Let's click on that. Fan relay. It's a four-blade system. Okay. It has a coil resistance of 45 ohms, battery voltage, and here it is. Now, just so you know, this is the gate. Okay. Power comes in, goes out, and then this has power. And that one is the pulley. So when power comes to this one, it pulls the, la the little switch closed, and then these are connected, okay? That's how the relay works. It's just a switch, okay? And it tells us that it is right here, okay? And if we go back to the diagram, it will say K1 right there, if you can see it. Okay, so I wanna go back to this. I wanna go ahead, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit more. There we go, there's K1. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the resistor or the uh, coil out. Sorry, not coil, relay. I'll get it there. And I'm gonna measure the resistance again. So I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna measure if the gate is open or closed. Now it should be open, meaning low electricity flow. Okay, so what should open look like on an ohm meter? It should be like that. See, there's no connection right now. If I get connection, I'll have a reading. That means there's no resistance, right? So I should have something looking like that between peg two and three. Now, how did I get that information? Well, if you look right here, I wish we can zoom in. Let's see if I can just enlarge this. There we go. See, electricity comes into two. The electricity comes into one when it's activated by the switch here on line one. Okay, and then that goes to ground and this confirms it. So then electricity goes from two to three. So right now it should be open, meaning no electricity flow. So let's go back. I'm gonna just uh, shrink that back down. Okay, so let's grab it. Two to three. I have resistance, actually none, barely. So that tells me that that gate is closed, meaning electricity is flowing, not closed like the door is closed in front of you and you can't do anything. No, it means it's closed, it's connected, it is flowing electricity. That tells me that this relay is bad. So K3 happens to be a four blade resistor too. So we can double check this. I go to that one and I go to this one. And look, no readings, exact same kind of resistor. Okay, now on this one, they don't let you swap resistors to test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this resistor, drop it down in here, click on it, replace this part, put the brand new blinky one in, plug it into the car, plug that one into the car. I'm gonna go ahead and put my tools away, multimeter and diagram, uh, diagnostic tester, and I'm gonna go ahead and start, well, actually I gotta jump start it again. Start the vehicle. Zoom out a little. Oh, I gotta hook up the battery cables first. That makes it helpful. That's why it's. There we go. Now I hook up the tester. Jump start it. Okay, check engine lights off. Motor's got it running fine. I'm gonna put my jump starter away. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the motor off, and the fan should turn off too. Okay. Fan's not running, so we've solved the problem. So we go over here, we go to our, invo our work order. Okay, we, uh, the failure resolved, verified repairs, diagnosed the work complete. I'm gonna do right here, I, uh, now remember, you gotta write it up, because if you don't write it up, it, it does not, uh, you won't get paid for it, uh, especially on a real system. So uh, I uh, verified. Uh, customer. Yeah, I'll worry about spelling later. Try starting.
the out of specs, replaced and retested. Okay, so obviously beyond my spelling errors. Okay, and then I'm done. And this is where I would take a screenshot and submit it. Okay. So there we go. That's uh, that is the complete job. Okay, and we hit up invoice. It tossed me the customer. 70 bucks. So this is what I want to see when you guys turn it in. I want to see an invoice and this. And then you just take a screenshot. Okay? And then turn in the screenshot for this assignment. Alright. That should be it. Um, so yeah. Um, if you have any other questions, just ask. Okay? I don't mind helping out because I know this is completely different. I don't get to sit there and help you. Oh my gosh. It's this. Biggest thing right now with Electrode on that simulator, do not pinch, okay? That messes it all up. All right, so there you go. Thank you very much. I will see you guys on, let's see here today, Sunday. So Monday, I'll see you guys Monday.